Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> Nintendo! This is Sailor Jupiter reporting live, and in today's video, we'll be comparing on why the shocking supermodel Elisa is a spirit girl that loves to feel the spark and feel the tingle. Watch me mix and mingle! <laughs> Compared to her emotionless variant in the games and Masters X. Special thanks to Bulbapedia TV Tropes and the Fandompedia for the information. The facts on Elisa. For starters, let's take a look at the anime counterpart of Elisa. In the games, you might have noticed that she's different in the anime. She made her a Genki girl, and her Amoga was replaced with a Tinamo in the anime, and for the anime, her Emolga's tripped up players thinking grass and ground types could beat her entire team, while Ash's palpitated Snivy similarly went down, and her Zipstrika is pretty cold to be exact, and its double kick is very strong. And you might have listened to this earlier, she has a gym full of only female fans that blush at the sight of her cosplays her and constantly scream out her name. And she's a Genki girl, especially during gym battles, and she also goes full in Genki mode when she referees a match between Ash and Bianca's father, shouting every now and then. And lol, her Tinamo is a glass cannon. It, but it can be defeated with a well-powered offense but one must survive first its raw power and speed. And, once she sees how powerful Pikachu is taking out her Amolga with a single quick attack, the gloves come off. And, you might have noticed that there's been a lot of fans for her on two occasions. And it's a screenshot that it seems like she wasn't wearing any stockings underneath, and the second is Dawn's description of Elisa wearing very fashionable clothing. And she's extremely eccentric. And she's all around a sweet and caring young woman who tries to cheer up Bianca after a loss. And she loves her Pokemon and fans. And she specializes in electric types. And Elisa Zimoga is part flying type and thus immune to ground types. Countering both ground types and grass types with Imoga's typing. And her reaction when Ash only brought just one Pokemon in battle after defeating Palpatode, but Ash allowed to call it an audible to get another Pokemon to continue. Which is... quite a shock. Her game counterpart. Her game counterpart is a little bit different. So, you might have noticed that she has a different appearance, and you might have noticed that she specialized in electric type Pokemon, and the player can challenge her to a battle after riding a series of roller coasters to her location, a process of involving the flipping of multiple switches so the tracks take players to her. And upon defeating her, she will reward the player with a bolt badge and Technical Machine 72 built switch. And outside of battle, Elisa is a supermodel and listens to a lot of music, and she appears when Bianca attempts to convince her father to allow her to become a Pokemon trainer. Elisa aids her, convincing Bianca's father to give his daughter permission to follow her dream. When the player leaves Nimbasa City, it is Elisa who appears briefly on Route 5 and tells the bridge guard to lower the Driftvale drawbridge so the player may cross it. And she then appears at Ends Castle where she and the other Unova gym leaders hold off to seven sages while the player goes after Ren. While not strictly relevant to the plot, Elisa also visits Cynthia in the summer at Undela Town in her villa, as do the other female gym leaders and Elite Four members. And Elisa is good friends with fellow gym leader Skyla. In the events between Black and White and Black 2 and White 2, she confided in Skyla about changing her image. She reveals that she is conscious about the reserved image she displays, and has a fondness for bad puns. However, in Black 2 and White 2, she returns as a gym leader, and a player must return to the old gym and after riding the roller coaster and battling the gym trainers along the way, 
You might notice one of Elisa's models standing where Elisa used to be to gain access to the new gym. And it's located right of the, the original gym's building, and it's an actual catwalk and fashion show. The technical machine Elisa gives away remains the same. And after gaining access to the new gym and defeating Elisa, she walks the player back down to the catwalk to the entrance. And she later participates in a Pokemon World tournament, so you can challenge her in the Driftdale or Mix tournament, Unova Leaders tournament, or Type Expert World Leaders and Mix Master tournament. And as for the National Gym Choir, there has been a letter that that someone went by the name Shocking Supermodel, and the letter reads, The gym leader Elisa said that Nimbasa's Pokemon can dance a nimble Basa. Nobody laughed, but I thought it was really funny. What do you think? The person who read this letter says, It seems like Elisa needs to come up with a sneakier pen name. Well, whatever. Did you know that? We forgot to mention this, but... Elisa did see Ash win the Masters 8, and she's so proud of him that he beat Leon. And I hope you enjoyed the last 11 episodes. And Elisa is the only character to receive a redesign in the games. And Elisa loves fashion and makeup, and she's seen the flashback in Rival Destinies as she's wearing shiny lip gloss. And she's also the only other character to get the Pokeball out of her pocket and make a bigger like Marilyn from battling a cute drama. Take a look at this clip. Now you know. All is forgiven. Final results!